And today I'll be showing you how you can get Deluxe membership on a website without even paying anything for it. And by the way, thank you for this wonderful comment. And it's really great to always see all these positive vibes, positive comment, encouraging comments for everyone. Maybe I'll really do a movie, all right? <laughs> So this is pretty funny. So anyway, let's get back to our tutorial right here. So right in front of us, I have open web application security project, juice shop running. So this is a vulnerable web application system for us to run all of our ethical hacking techniques on. And by the way, hacking is illegal. If you want to run any ethical hacking, remember to do it only in your own lab environment. And of course, if you want to do it in the real world, all right, check out those bug bounty programs that's available from all these different sites and read through those terms and conditions properly because you don't want to end up crashing someone's website, finding vulnerability and getting yourself in trouble. Okay, so that's great. So now, of course, over here, we have two scenarios. And what I can do now is I have a couple of accounts. So I've registered an account right here. Okay, and you can see here, this is Loy Liang Yang at gmail.com. So I'm already logged in. And if I go to the top left corner, I can click onto the tab, all right, under the menu, and I can click under Deluxe Membership. So go ahead and click on it. And it states right here, Deluxe Membership, become a member. So if I clicked on it, it states the following, right? I have to add a credit card. I have to pay using wallet. All right, so I have none of these options available for me. So I'm a normal user. So I do not have all these Deluxe Membership privileges. So what can we do about it? That's the biggest question for today. So what I can do now is go to the top right corner, clicked on it, click on the web developer, and click under in today's case storage inspector so here we can see there is a storage called token so go ahead and click on it and of course you can see the following value so i can double click under the value and i can copy it right here and i'll teach you something really interesting today which is called json web token javascript object notation web token so what does it mean so let's go ahead and go to jwt.io and we are going to decode the value that we have just copied so let us scroll down further and we can actually paste the value over here, okay? So once we've pasted the value, you can see on the right side, there are three key things that we're looking at. So this is the decoded on the right side, all right? Edit the payload and secret, whichever the case is. The first section, we have what we call the hater. So this actually indicate the algorithm as well as the token type. So in this case, we have the algorithm as RS-256 and the type is a JSON web token. And of course, right at the center is what we call the payload. All right, so the payload here has the following information. All right, so this is, of course, in JSON format. So you have status, success, you have the data inside of it. In this case, we have ID, we have the email address, we have the password, likely in a hashed value form. We have the role of the user. And this is the part where it gets really interesting because we are looking at the following role customer. And the question will be, if we are a deluxe member, would that be a different role? And what if we are an administrator of a website? Would that also indicate a different role? As you scroll further, you can see all these different details, okay? And then we have issued at and the expiration time. And of course, we can verify the signature of this. And JSON Web Tokens, you can think of it as a way of actually looking at someone's information, like their attributes, their user information, and so on. And a lot of times some application servers may accidentally put really sensitive data into the JSON web token. And that is very dangerous because this could be downloaded by the hacker to look at the structure of some of the attributes of the user and even possibly the table of the database format. And all this could be used against the web application system as part of running all these hacking techniques on. So going back to the JWT token, we're able to see all these details now. And what we want to do here is to look at the second user and see if we're going to be able to find a different kind of information. So now I'm going to go ahead to go back to the OWSP juice shop. And of course, I'll go to the top right corner, click on our account, and I'll select log out. So once I'm logged out over here, I'll click on the account and I'll click log in. And in this case, I'm going to log into an account who is a deluxe member account so that we are going to be able to see the differences in the JSON web token. All right. So let's go ahead and enter hackerloy at loyliangyang.com and I'll go ahead and enter the password field and click login. So I'll go to the top right corner once again, click on the web developer and click under storage inspector. So once more, we go under the token segment. All right. So double click on it and we'll copy it. So in this case, we're going into JWT.io once more, and I'm going to decode it, decode the JSON web token values. So let's go ahead and paste it right here. Okay. So do a right click and paste and we'll see right here. Okay. So we got a following payload. So we got the Hater as the same algorithm as well as the type of token. So you can see right here on the payload. All right, this is the part that really matters now. And if you see here, we have the email. All right, we have the role as DLock. So this is the key area that we're looking at. It means that if you upgrade, 
all right, the user account to a Deluxe membership, it changes the role. And of course, in this case, we have the role as Deluxe. So now I go back into OWSP Juice Shop. I go to the top left corner. I click on the Deluxe membership and it states the following. You are already a Deluxe member. So that's fantastic. And we have all these wonderful, amazing benefits of it. So now the question is, can we create an account who will automatically be issued the Deluxe membership without paying for it. So that's the key part of today's tutorial. So what I can do now is go to the top right corner, click under account, and I go ahead and click log out. All right, so once I log out, what I want to do now is to go ahead and create an account. So I'll go ahead and create an account by clicking on the account tab, click login, and if you scroll down further, there's this part and this segment called not yet a customer. So let's go ahead and click on it. So once you clicked on it, what we will do now is go to the top right corner, all right, select Burp Suite as our interceptor. Go to the top left corner, open up any terminal. And in this case, I'll go ahead and open up Burp Suite, all right, to be our interceptor. And we'll take a look at what is being submitted over into the site when we do a user creation. All right, so we have temporary project, click next and click start Burp defaults. Okay, so now we're starting our Burp Suite community edition. So once you're in, ensure that the proxy intercept is on. So once you have all these details, go back into the browser. And in this case, let's go ahead and enter a new email address. So in this case, I'm going to enter, all right, hackingloy at loyliangyoung.com. I'll enter, I'll enter the password for this field. Okay, I'll enter password again. And now, of course, on the security question, I'll go ahead and select the following. All right, so in this case, your eldest sibling's middle name, and I'll enter hacker. All right, so once you click on the register, okay, it will get intercepted by Burp Suite right now. And you can see the following. There's a post slash API slash users, and we have the payload right here at the bottom. Okay, so this is the body part. And we can do a right click and send over to repeater. Okay, so let's go and send over to repeater. And now, as you can see here, we have requests as well as response. All right, so what we need to do is to examine what is being sent over during the user registration process. And of course, you can see here, there's an email. Password, password repeat, security question. And of course, you can see the password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I assure you, this is not my real password, okay? <laughs> so you can see the security question. You can see the security answer, okay? Can we add an additional few? And enter the following as the membership, all right? So if you go back to the JSON web token here, all right, any of them you can see here, we have the role. So we got to change the role, all right, to instead of customer, we are going to put it as deluxe. So go back to Burp Suite Community Edition, all right? So I can enter role. And now in this case, I can enter deluxe, okay? So we're done. And in three, two, one, we'll click send. Okay, and it states the following status success so we managed to create the user account and we have the data right here so this is the response which is a blank username all right last login ip id all right 23 so this is the 23rd user inside the database and we have the email as hacking at loyaliangyang.com and where the role is deluxe and updated at created at and deleted at so now going back into the site what i'm going to do now is turn off the interceptor okay and we'll go back into owsp juice shop and i'll go back into the home page go to the top right corner click on the login all right so let's go ahead and enter the email hacking loy at loy and now we enter the password for you okay and go ahead and click login go to the top left corner click under deluxe membership you're now all right a deluxe member so once again what is happening here is that json web tokens generally should not be stored inside the user end because if the user browser gets hijacked all right or the mobile application that actually has a component or a storage area that has the json web tokens all these are going to be exposed to the hackers and they can run certain kind of manipulation. They can understand and examine the database table type and be able to run all these hacking techniques against all these different kind of values, attributes. And if you make them writable as part of your user registration process, all this makes it a lot easier for hackers to gain access into them. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. And we'll like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.